Here's the deal. I made this video of loot from 50 hours of Elite Dungeon 3 a couple months back where I didn't have a drop in 50 hours of runs. After that video, some people asked me where the follow-up went. Well, I wanted to make a follow-up, but in the following 50 hours of Elite Dungeon 3 runs, I literally didn't get a drop. Again, I've now done 100 hours of ED3 and I haven't had a drop. According to the drop rates, I should have the full collection log of three crossbow pieces and the pet, and I don't have a drop. So that's the goal. I just want a drop. Any drop, I don't care. That's the video. How can I be this unlucky? Um, well, this is what happens when you scale the drops to be like, you know, you should get one drop on average every 30 hours of gameplay. It's not unlikely for someone to do 100 hours of gameplay without one, with those rates, because there's no kind of bad luck protection or anything. Goodbye! Did I- I did not just get 11,000 coins as my first drop. Look at the dwarves on. What is it gonna be? Nope. First two runs done, we've made ourselves six mil. Not bad. You really just gave me arrow tips. Wait. No, there's no way. Black Dragonite. Okay, I was gonna say, it couldn't just be arrow tips. These aren't complaining hours. These are park on the bus hours, so let's do it. Oh, seahorse, please stop. Oh my goodness, get out, get out, buddy, 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 buddy. Are you joking me? Are you joking me? Are you joking me? Are you joking me? I'm fine. I still, I rest my case. That is the hardest part of the entire ED3. That's so much free damage. The reflect reprisal, it's an 8.2k reprisal I just got there. Completely free of charge. I got Onyx Bolt Tips, Woo. Yo, we out of Dry Streak Purgatory yet? <laughs> Yo, absolutely not. <laughs> not even a little bit. But we're having fun though. I'm definitely better at ED3 now than I was before I went into retirement. So that's cool. It's one, two, three, four. And just like that, we kill boss and we get crossbow piece. Badoodle. <laughs> just kidding. This has been a very rewarding 100 hours spent. Wouldn't you guys agree? I think you guys have as much reason to complain as I do. You've been watching me do Elite Dungeon 3 for 100 hours without at any point actually witnessing a drop. Like, I don't mind that the buff bar is busy. I mind that the things I would actually want on my buff bar as a PVMer are the ones that get displaced all the time. Like, if I pop my sigil here, where does it show up? They're telling me my sigil is my 11th most important thing. <laughs> the sigil that literally only lasts 10 seconds is my 11th most important thing behind my familiar timer that lasts forever. <laughs> like, it should pop up right at the front of the sigil, or right at the front of the... No? Kill boss. Five Blackstone Hearts? All for me? Did I get anything else? Or... Oh, I got Onyx Deuced. Stop giving me arrow tips, please! <laughs> anything but arrow tips. That might be the worst drop ever. That might be the worst drop you could actually get. Wait a second. That didn't pay for a single dose of, that didn't pay for my overload. <laughs> <laughs> I love ED3. What a great boss encounter. Very family friendly. Much fun. All right, we go again. I actually really like the, the birth of update. Now, mind you, I haven't done a single drought run since then, but, and I'm sure, you know, that's changed slightly, but I still think it was a good, a good decluttering. There was so much crap, and I'm glad they got rid of those challenges where it's like, get a daily challenge where you get no rewards, because, I don't know about you guys, that confused me. The number of times I was like, oh, so I can force a daily challenge, and then it just gives you some random thing to do. Tarot gets fun too, just because the salve amulet works, you get to deal so much damage. It's like, Jagex were like, 
how could we make this boss fun? And then someone said, well, dealing a lot of damage is fun. And then they were like, oh, so we should just let you do a lot of damage. And then they did it. Oh, my HP, dude. Eat the food. Brew. Brew faster. Sarah, you help. <laughs> Thanks, bud. I actually think Sarah would have saved my life there. Calling stock. Let's do it. You're getting, you're getting into the specifics. I can't even remember what the three pieces are called. 180 and we got arrow tips again. Feels good, man. Does this boss only drop black dragon hide though? Like real talk, we've had a lot of black dragon hide. Oh bad, 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 bad. I'm dead. Uh, can I even attack here? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I can. No, I can't, no, I can't, no, I can't. No, I can't, no, I can't, no, I can't. Please. I got arrow tips again. Have I had arrow tips like five times? Ready for the dragon hide as well? Yep. Arrow tips and dragon hide. I think we've had that five times today. Jagex, did you replace your drop table with, with dragon hide and arrow tips? It's the worst. Okay, I have done as much ED3 as I can possibly take for one day. We managed to do 10 runs. We're now at a total of 181 solo runs. And that's the total loot. Not bad, but I'm not stopping until I get a drop. I don't know how many days of this I can take. So hopefully something happens soon. Also, something absolutely insane. If I had taken this six hours and instead of doing full ED3 runs, I literally just went up to the first boss and then restarted, I would have made more money. I, I don't know, man. This game is crazy. This has actually been rotationally so sick so far. I like haven't used food yet. We've absolutely sent it today. All right, look at the dwarves on. What is the drop gonna be? 110 arrow tips. Sick, dude. Solo number 183. No. No way. I got 2,000 coins. Nope. Oh, that's almost a PR. Dude, we absolutely sent that. 1 minute 39. Okay. Okay, Dark Magic Orha. Okay, Vamp Scrim. Gonna put the luck of the dwarves on nice and early just so that Jagex has enough time to, uh, you know, roll that 2000 GP I've been wanting. And kill boss. But I'm about to get a Dungeoneering level. I'm 34k from 117 DG. And I haven't actually trained Dungeoneering since 103. I was 103 when the first Elite Dungeon came out. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, I just got a Rage Fire Gland. Okay. Well, I'm talking about having not made any money. Thank you, Jagex. Appreciate that one. Someone's listening. Hey, that's 117 Dungeoneering. Wait, did I get XP for killing the spin? I'm so confused. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jagex. I appreciate it. <laughs> Okay. Well, there's a sign. I literally can't afford to repair my amulet of souls. Battle staves. 94 black dragonite. Wait, that's better than what the ambassador drops. We should just stop the run there. Y'all gotta stop with them arrow dips. Oh wow, another rage fire gland. Another 1.3 mil into the coffer. I'll take it. All right, let's kill the boss. 188th kill. Did I do it? <laughs> yeah, the Invigorate Aura is kind of... I mean, I wouldn't call it sick. Like, it's not great, but the effect is actually useful here, which is cool. What is the drop going to be? It's going to be... <laughs> Nothing. I had fun, though. And that's the most important thing. That's why you don't give up on your dreams, guys. We did it. Do I need a load? Nah, I'm good, man. Dude, I'm gonna get a drop from an elite dungeon, and then I don't need money anymore. We're good. We're all good. Never been better. Maybe next time. All right, guys, look, the door's on. My 191st solo run. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! We got a drop! Let's go! Oh my god, we got a drop! Whoo! It's the worst one and it's not doubled. And guess what? I don't care! I don't care! I do not care! I do not care! Let's go, baby! Ocean Man 2.0!
Take me by the hand! We gotta drop! I may not ever come back here. I honestly, I honestly may never come back here. Like, I genuinely dislike this place so much. <laughs> Let's go! I got a drop! Guys, we did it! Whoo! Oh, what a feeling! We actually got a drop! <sighs> we did it, chat. We did it! 383 mil. I'll take it. Your boy made some money, okay? I made some money. You know what's funny? That drop only bumps up my GP per hour by... by two mil. <laughs> because of how long I've spent in, the, in, in, that, in that freaking dungeon, dude. Let's go! I went back for one final victory lap Elite Dungeon 3 run, and no, I did not go back to back. But that's totally fine by me. I'm just so relieved at this point to actually have a drop. I was so dry at Elite Dungeon 3 that Jagex literally looked into my account to make sure there wasn't something wrong. That's how crazy dry I was, and to finally have the Elite Dungeon 3 situation over and done with, well, it makes me pretty happy. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this journey. It was a lot to do like 10 plus runs in a row, back to back to back to back to back. But you know what? At the very start of the third day, we managed to park the bus and get the drop we'd been waiting for. Honestly, I'd consider it time well spent. I got better as a PVMer in the third elite dungeon and although it got a little bit repetitive by the end, I had a good time and I hope you guys did too.